How do you take an image of the moon and put it behind a crane in an image like this? Actually, it's not that difficult. Hello, welcome to Making Photos. I'm Ian M. Butterfield. I covered it in a live stream a while back. So let's join the live stream and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Right, so what I've got here are two images. I've got my shot of the moon and I've got the shot of the, the cranes. So we want to get one, uh, want the moon to be behind the clouds and um, behind the crane. And that's going to be an absolute swine to manually cut round on there. So what, am I go what, what I'm going to do with this, first of all, unlock that bottom layer. Next, I'm going to go over to this image. So if I grab that and drag it, over here and drop it on there. Now you can see the comparative sizes. That's how much I had to crop in on that image, even at 400 millimeter. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to move the, turn the opacity down so I can see where it is. And I'm going to position the, uh, the moon. And Control T allows me to get the bounding box. And I'm just going to move this to approximately where I want it. I want it overlapping the building slightly. I want it overlapping the crane. And I definitely want the hook into, in, into it. So I think that's going to be approximately the position I want. So I will OK that. And now I can change the opacity all the way back up. So what we don't want around this is all the black. We want to cut the moon out. So let me just zoom in slightly on the moon. So we've got that. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to create, put a couple of some guides in there. Now, if you don't see the guide, the, the margins on yours, uh, view and show rulers here. And once you've got the rulers, I always have them there because it means to put a guide in, I can just drag from the ruler and I drag to just inside the edge of the moon. Same at the top, just inside on the far side, just inside and same at the bottom just inside, whoa, that's too far. Um, to, re to adjust it, if, if you've got it in the wrong place, um, you can. if you come off the image, you can get the um, thing there to adjust. If you want to do it inside here, oh, it does allow me. Um, it's often you hold the control key down, which will allow you to do it as well. And then you just move it over. So we've got that. Now I'm going to use a circular mask, which is generally hidden under the rectangular one. Click and hold elliptical marquee tool. And I can use these guides to get this right. So I start on that point uh, top left. And I just drag this all the way down to there. And we end up with a circle just within the moon. Now, one setting that you need on this, and I, I always draw the thing first and uh, then think, doll, I need to set the feather. You need a feather on here of about seven, five or seven pixels on there. I'm just going to uh, undo that. Um, and I'm going to change this one to five pixels. And if you just draw that back, you And we're in there. And what the feather does is it gives a softer edge to the uh, to the image. So it's not this harsh cutout on there. It gives a much more pleasing uh, look. So having created, created that, I'm going to do Control C to copy it. And actually, Control X it cuts it out. And then Control V to paste it as a layer on its own right. So I'm just moving it approximately where I need, and then I can get rid of the outline on it. So it's in the place I want it, but the moon in front of uh, the other objects, I want it. I want them. Want it to be behind. So how do we do it? Right. What we're going to do is we're going to use um, channel masking uh, to create the effect on this. I need to hide that first of all, click on the little eye to get rid of it, otherwise we'll mask the moon as well. So I'm going to go over down here on the right hand side 
to channels. I'm looking for the one that for the sky being as light as possible. So it's the red is the one I want on there. If I can go through them, because we're going to use this as a mask. And basically the way it works is white will be the bits that show through the moon and the black will be the bits of the original image. So uh, the red one is more or less what I want on there. So I'm going to duplicate the channel. I'll call it red copy. Having got that, uh, I can now control A to select all of it uh, and control C to copy it. Go back to layers and then click on the topmost layer, control V, and it pastes that in as a layer of its own. So now it's in there, I can start modifying that. And the way I'm going to modify it is I'm going to use uh, a curves adjustment over there. Uh, so with that curves adjustment, let me pull the properties out so we can see what we're doing on here. What I want to do is to make the dark sections, the black sections, which are going to, uh, that's just that little bit darker. I didn't mean that, get rid of that. And the white sections, a little bit whiter. So I just bring that in. And where it's white, it will show, uh, the, uh, the moon will show through on there. So if we just bring that in a little bit more, and we can start now to see that all the crane and the buildings are black. So that's probably going to be sufficient for this, but I could, if I wanted, just make it that little bit more contrasty in the middle, just something along those lines. Yep, I, I will go with that. So let's just pop that back onto there. Now I'm going to the reason I do it as a, an adjustment layer rather than directly on it is because it allows me, if I now think, oh, I want to change it, I can do. So what I'm going to do now is hide that. I've got both of those selected and I'm just going to do layer and just merge those two layers together. Now, Control A, Control C on there hide that, bring that back, bring that back. No, wrong one, that one back. Onto there. Alt click on it to show that, and I should now be able to just paste into it, which I can do on there. So now, uh, if I click away from it, we can see the moon is now behind uh, the object, so it's used that as a mask. Now. That, now I've done that, let me just um, zoom in a little bit so we can see how effective masking like this is. And it's incredibly clean in terms of the mask uh, on there. It's absolutely perfect. You've got all the different bits uh, showing through on there. But one of the, the wonderful things about this technique, if I just come out a little bit onto here. If I wanted to reposition the moon, if I break the link here, if I click on that to remove it, the mask stays where it is. I can just move the moon around behind the, uh, the clouds and everything else. Uh, so I can now get that in the exact position I want it uh, for my composition uh, to make it work, which would be something like that. Control D because it's selected. And now there is one thing I would tweak with this. And that is, it looks as though it's in front of this cloud at the top. Um, it's because it's a very faint cloud. It just looks wrong. So what I can do um, with it is I can adjust my mask. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use a paintbrush. I'm gonna set my opacity. I'm going to set it up to about 67%, but I'm going to keep a fairly low flow, which means I can build this up. Um, I've got a soft brush 
and on there I can now just paint in just a little bit to actually move it behind that um, the cloud let the cloud cover come through just a little bit more on there and that's probably just enough that's all I'll need just to help sell the fact that it really is behind that little bit of cloud so there is our uh, our finished image uh, of it. The one final thing I would do is I would get rid of those. Um, uh, this is where I press the con control key and just I can drag them up onto the the rulers to get rid of them. So that's where I've cleared those and final image. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. If you've composited similar images together and want to share them, you can upload them to my Facebook group. The link to it is down below in the description. Now you know how to combine a, a sunset image and a moon image, what you need to know is how to photograph a sunset and how to photograph the moon. And I've got just the two videos for you. Here's the one on sunsets, here's the one on the moon, and uh, click on one of those and I'll see you in one of those videos. And until then, keep making great photos. Bye for now.